A Company, three rifles, are out proving their sword skills in a battle to become the chosen man. This is the culminating day of A Company's Chosen Man competition, um, which is a three day long competition designed to uh, test and then find the best riflemen of rifleman rank uh, in the company. So we're testing them on basic military skills, which we think are the kind of the key core fundamental skills that are necessary um, to be a good rifleman. So we're testing them in things like uh, fitness, uh, navigation, military knowledge, basic weapon handling skills, confidence, that sort of thing. So this is the, the final culminating event for that. Let's go. The sword lane is the true test of skill under pressure. Moving from one end of the river to the other on difficult ground while attacking the enemy along the way. The exercise is focused on aggression. It's a technique that would only be used in desperate conditions where ammunition is low and the enemy are fast approaching at very close range. We always knew it was going to be hard, uh, but the terrain I think made it a lot, a lot harder than what we expected. Just trying to keep the aggression up while going through it, losing your footing, made it a lot, a lot more challenging than anything I've, I've done sword-wise before. It was obviously uh, hard work, but once you're in there and you've got the sword attached, you get in the mindset and you just don't really think about it and you get the aggression and it's just, it's going to kill the enemy face to face. So. It's hard to keep like, on your feet as well as trying to run up and like, try and kill the enemy. Good effort, keep moving! Good effort! Good effort! For most, it's a bayonet, but the three rifles are protective of their swords. So a lot of people uh, get a bit funny about us calling a sword rather than a bayonet. Uh, and I'll probably get grilled because I just said the B word, but uh, it harks back to, um, again, the Peninsula War, where the rifles used a Baker rifle, uh, which had a shorter barrel than the musket that the Line Infantry Regiments used. Um, and because of that, we needed a longer sword um, to attach onto the ends of our rifles um, to make sure that it was long enough to, to actually be effective at close range. Um, so as a result, we've always called what other people in the army may call a bayonet. We always call it a sword. And sword skills aren't all speed and force. There's a technique that's vital for success. What do you do when you approach an enemy? So uh, what we do, we get into a position called on guard. And that's this position, so your left leg's uh, forward and uh, the weapon system's hor horizontal, ready to thrust in towards the enemy. Uh, once we thrust it towards the enemy, we're gonna go into the position called high port. Okay, and what's the purpose of having it up there pointing to the sky. So high port is more of a training, uh, it gets the training value, so it gets everyone checking the sword in particular to ensure that it's fitted correctly and so it doesn't slide off. So when you go back into low port, you've got the uh, sword there ready to thrust again. And then as you approach another enemy? Same again, it's just the same drills. So you thrust back in and you check your sword and you'll continue doing that through the training purposes. Um, in real life situation, I doubt anyone's going to put it up here and check their sword. They'll just do it while they're in there and then they'll advance forward. It's just to get it in muscle memory to check your sword once you've thrusted it. Ah! Go on, get it in! Go on, move! Move! Get ah! it again! Get it again! Ah! Check sword! Let's go! Come on! But all this hard work isn't just for nothing. The winner of the Chosen Man competition not only walks away with his pride, but he gets extra time off work as well. Ashley Cowie, Forces News, in Gerlock Head.